Hey, hey, <clears throat> Corey, aka Mechanic Madness, uh, here on this YouTube channel. Um, promised you boys a snap on surprise this week. Um, and just shot the video that'll be posted before this one. Me talking about the Mac Axis Series ratchet I've got right here. It's their 18 inch Axis Series ratchet. Um, but the snap on surprise, back to that. Um, told you guys I should be finishing it up this week. Um, it should be out Tuesday, but went ahead, busted a little butt, put in a little extra time, extra beer. This is number two. Um, and got her done for you guys. Um, so. I am a huge fan of the snap-on <clears throat> quick-release ratchets. Um, grew up on the Craftsman's with the push buttons. Um, just always, always been a push-button fan. Um, and this is the FHR80 um, snap-on ratchet here. <clears throat> push buttons. Love the push buttons. Um, always, always love push buttons. And Snap-on came out with the new almighty of 18-inch leverage machine. Um, I've got the FHRLF80A, I believe. That's the 13-inch quick release. Love, have loved both of those ratchets for the longest time. But they came out with the new guy. And it's got the updated, updated style, kind of like this Mac version with the single tang in the center. And the head having the two on the side. Um, not a fan of that on those. It's, it's a lot bulkier um, here in the head design. Um, just all around, just a little more clunky. Not not quite as slim line and neat and pretty. But after doing some research, um, talking with the Snap-on guy, um, he informed me that Snap-on should be probably coming out with that quick release version of that here in the near future um, <clears throat> but it was going to be the same style of head um, like this and you know I've got the other version of the snap on shorter guy and you know I'm kind of kind of picky about it you know spending the spending the hard earned money for the ratchet so I'm gonna gonna wind up with something I really like so uh, talk to the snap on guy talk with him talk with him talk with him me and him pretty good buddies were kind of going back and forth, he and Han over it. Not really sure what I wanted to do there. And then we kind of went through the catalog together. Um, came across the 18 inch breaker bar that Snap-on sells in a 3 8 drive. Um, and I said, do some research for me. See if you can find, find something out for me. I, I need this part and then I'll do the rest because um, I like that design I like the quick release so I had him look from had him message around and try and find me a head just the head I said I would pay for just the head just sell it to me I want it <clears throat> you know um, couldn't find it couldn't find it snap-on does not sell that head separate they do not sell their body separate if something breaks they warranty the whole unit <clears throat> Snap on smart. They're not gonna let you do that. <clears throat> but here we go. The unveiling of the big surprise. I have here an 18 inch snap on quick release. You saw it here. Snap on does not make this. It does not exist. There is not a part number for this. This is an 18 inch flex head quick release snap on ratchet it's a little stiff on the flex because it's not quite as pretty because you know I wanted to get this out here for you guys um, but this is the snap on does not make it I made it this is probably gonna make snap on a little upset <clears throat> but I did end up having to you know end up with the this is the 
F H R L F 80 A um, that is now a 13 inch breaker bar comfort grip miniature breaker bar um, but that was this head was originally here and this breaker bar head was on this this is a um, F H B B 18 A this is the breaker bar 18 inches long um, something I'm going to show you guys is the difference between this I made snap on 18 inch and the Mac 18 inch breaker bar. Um, it's about an inch, inch, maybe an inch and a quarter difference overall. Um, <clears throat> but this is this is a pretty sweet, pretty sweet find on my part. Um, I got the tape measure here. From stem to stern on the Mac version. You've got 17 three quarters inches on that. Um, now this guy coming in at about 19 and a half inches. So we are no longer at 18 inch snap-on uh, flex head. This is 19 and a half. So in their marketing field, it might be a 20. But uh, you know, this took some time and some elbow grease because they they had the foresight of this. Um, the difference in the flex head and the breaker bar is a little, a little on the bigger side, but um, the flex heads have the, the bigger shank. The breaker bar is a little thinner. <clears throat> so about two hours with a file and trimming this guy out a little bit. I've got a very unique snap-on ratchet that nobody else has. Um, all in all, worth the investment, worth the time. Um, very, very, very awesome little ratchet. Um, haven't got a chance to break her out and use her yet because I just finished making it. Um, but this could be available for you if you want to put the time and effort in. Um, I think the, the grand total on this is this breaker bar running about $100 and the rent is about $167. Bucks. So if you want to hybrid the two together or you already own both or you already own one and you just want to get the other, make your own. I oftentimes find myself throwing a, uh, a longer pull on these to do the break and free anyways. So didn't really didn't really hurt me to lose that five inches of bar because I'll add it on later um, <clears throat> but all in all it's pretty neat um, pretty nifty little design <clears throat> now that it's you know mine not snap on but was, they had all the stuff there for me I just made it made it a little different um, but yeah Probably gonna tear it back apart, clean it up a little bit, figure it all out, make it nice and smooth and happy. But that uh, that extra inch and a half, definitely worth the effort. Um, like always, guys, I'm gonna try and keep making content for you guys, getting some stuff out there. Younger guy in the field, only been at it for about a year. Um, want to get these younger guys something to something to look at something to you know hey I'm not I'm not these these high-end youtubers I'm not the high-end snap-on guy I don't have a lot of snap-on um, these are cobalts gear wrench a um, lot of that in my boxes um, protecting yeah it costs I know um, but I, I Milwaukee, there you go. That's the and you saw the DeWalt drawer probably, but you know, I'm just getting started. I've got a dog and a girlfriend and a pickup truck that need more attention than my tool bill. So, you know, you're gonna get some snap on tool reviews, you're gonna get some Mac tool reviews, you're gonna get some Mac code tool reviews every now and then. Um, I actually got the Matco caliper hooks, and everybody's a fan of those. 
support around YouTube. Um, awesome little tool. I've got a little bit of everything. I'm not, not about to be the only buy snap on guy. Buy what you feel comfortable using. These Axis Series ratchets, they're a little bit cheaper than the snap ons. They do the job just as good. Um, all around, nice little wrench. Um, snap on wrench cost a lot of money, but it's really freaking sweet and it's going to be really freaking handy. Um, and I am a fan of those quick releases. If you hate them, don't spend the time and effort to do it, just to do it. I love it. This is this is my favorite part of the snap on ratchet, it's that quick release. You covered in brake grease, you covered in brake fluid, your hand don't work. Oh, quit it. That's my pup. Um, <clears throat> if you don't if you don't like them, don't put the effort into it. Um, the guys that like them, that's a pretty freaking sweet ratchet. That inch of difference, man. Inch and a quarter, whatever it is, but it's a lot of freaking difference when it matters. Um, but I will keep on keeping on and you guys do the same but as always get out there make it happen guys uh, like comment subscribe tell me what you think uh, if you're a snap on company don't get mad at me for doing it <laughs> but hey here I am just a just kid in his garage trying to make something sweet <laughs>